Hi everyone, in this video I plan to give a brief overview of OMOP CDM, which is a crucial topic for health data scientists or aspiring data scientists that want to work in the healthcare field. One of the biggest challenges we face in health data science is data standardization. Hospitals worldwide each have their own way of recording medical data. With all these different methods of collecting data, creating a unified data model for meaningful analysis becomes extremely difficult. The OMOP CDM, which stands for the Observational Medical Outcomes Partnership Common Data Model, was designed to solve this problem. It helps us transform diverse healthcare data into a common language. So researchers and healthcare providers can combine and analyze healthcare data seamlessly. So how does OMOP CDM actually work? OMOP CDM is a relational database model, meaning it's structured in tables that contain different aspects of healthcare. These tables are grouped into sections such as clinical data, health systems, and health economics. This standardized structure allows researchers to work with a consistent format, no matter the original data source. OMOP CDM have standardized vocabularies, which allow the organization and standardization of medical terms, some gathered from globally recognized coding systems, such as ICD-10, SNOMED and RxNorm. This means that specific codes represent specific medical concepts such as procedures, drugs or conditions. For example, if we want to look at pancreatic cancer, we can refer to its code in the OMOP CDM. This consistency means new medical discoveries can be easily integrated by simply just adding a new code. OMOP CDM is especially valuable for institutions that are using a federated data model. This model keeps each hospital's data within its own servers, ensuring patient privacy and compliance with data protection standards such as GDPR. With federated learning, each institution can run analyses without transferring their data to a centralized location. Let us take a look at some tools built around OMOP CDM. OMOP CDM is backed by tools such as Atlas and Hades that were built by the Odyssey community. Atlas, for example, enables you to define patient cohorts, estimate population incidence rates, and even apply machine learning algorithms for patient level prediction. Hades provides a wide range of R packages that enables you to perform sophisticated analyses. Such tools makes it possible to run complex healthcare analyses and also promote reproducibility. If you are a healthcare provider and would like to map your data to OMOP CDM, there are a few tools that you can use to help you with this. For example, Athena is an online platform where you can search for different standardized vocabularies that are used in the OMOP CDM. USAGI is a tool that can help suggest mapping codes for your source data using natural language processing. You can use White Rabbit that generates a report of your source data structure and then you can use this report in Rabbit in a Hat that gives a user interface which you can use to develop your mappings from your source data to OMOP CDM. Looking forward, OMOP CDM has massive potential, not just in healthcare, but other fields such as public health and environmental health. Incorporating data from these fields can give a more holistic view of patient health. I would really like to see the further adoption of OMOP CDM globally the more data that we can collect on healthcare and also surrounding fields can give researchers better insight into patient level health. In addition, with the development of AI and machine learning, we can use vast amounts of data to enhance our predictive models. As OMOP CDM continues to grow, we're looking at a future where healthcare data is not only standardized, but also globally interoperable. If you guys are interested in the fields of health data science or AI and medicine, please consider subscribing and I hope you found this video useful. Thank you guys for watching.